In this video, I share seven things that you should stop doing right now if you don't want to screw up your retirement. Whether you're retired or planning to retire soon, these tips will help you make the most of this exciting chapter of your life. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for coming back. I really do appreciate your support. If you're new here, I'm Nick, I'm 63, and I retired 19 years ago at the age of 44. I created this channel as your guide to retiring early and living your best retirement life. It's based on my own experiences from the last 19 years of retirement. In this video, I want to get into seven practices that will screw up your retirement. You should stop doing them now if you want a fulfilling retirement. So sit back, relax, and let's get going. First up is stop taking time for granted. Time is precious, and once it's gone, it's gone. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know I advocate for retiring early, as soon as you can. The earlier, the better. In my case, that was age 44. Maybe a bit too early for most, but 100% right for me. For you, it might be later. But whatever age it is, don't waste your 50s and 60s on work if you don't have to. No one on their deathbed regrets not having spent more time at work. Quite the opposite in reality. On that subject, there is an excellent book I recommend by a palliative nurse called Bronnie Ware. The name of the book is The Five Regrets of the Dying. I'll leave a link below in the description so that you can check it out. It's well worth a read. You should spend your time on what truly matters. For me, that's family, travel, hobbies and interests. With a little bit of work thrown in, I haven't completely stopped working. I do a little bit of part-time work from time to time, coaching and advisory. You have to make every day count by focusing on the things that bring you fulfillment and joy and building your days around those things. Next, the second thing you should stop is neglecting your health. Your health is your most valuable asset in retirement. When I retired at 44, I imagined that I'd have at least another 40 years of life. And I want most of those, if not all of them, to be healthy. That's why I make sure to stay active and I eat well. In particular, I do strength training and walking, both of which are excellent for general fitness and avoiding frailty in your later years. If there's one thing I'm scared to death of, it's being a frail old man in a wheelchair or driving around in one of those electric buggies. Since retiring, I've also lost 50 pounds. Lugging all that extra weight around was doing me no favors at all. It was like walking around with a 50 pound backpack. It just made everything harder. And not just that, I've got no doubt that it would have shortened my retirement years. That thing that I was scared of was highly likely to come to pass if I didn't do something about my weight. So you should focus on losing weight if you are overweight. Your body will thank you in the long run. It just needs a bit of short-term discipline. You don't want to spend your later years in poor health. And you can do something now whilst you're in your 40s, 50s or 60s and your long-term health will benefit if you start now. Just don't leave it too late. You'll regret doing that. Now let's talk about money. The third thing on my list is to stop over saving. If you've been saving your whole life, it's time to stop saving and start enjoying the fruits of your labor. You deserve to enjoy your retirement. So don't deny yourself the pleasures that you've worked hard for. Don't be a miser, someone who gets pleasure from counting the numbers on their bank statement. Make a plan to spend your money on things that uplift you. Obviously, whilst ensuring you have a cushion for emergencies, budgeting for joy is as important as budgeting for essentials. If you're nervous about spending money, there are plenty of videos here on YouTube which share the fact that you won't need as much money in the later years of your retirement. So don't be frightened. Start spending today. Just don't go mad, that's all. And on that subject, speaking of spending, there is actually one type of spending that really must stop in retirement. And that's my fourth thing. Stop spending on material possessions. The accumulation of more and more stuff. Moving from a mindset of more to less can be liberating. Instead of buying things, spend your money on experiences. Things that will bring you joy and lasting memories. One of the biggest drains on the finances of people in retirement is their houses. So many people just hang on to the big family house that they've spent all their life in, the one that they raised their kids in. Why? If that's you and the kids are long gone, why have you still got the big house? As soon as my son left for college at 18, I made a plan with my wife to downsize. We waited until he'd completed college because he often came home and it was his family home after all. And then when he was settled in adult life, we decided to downsize to a more modest house. We moved from our larger property in the countryside to something smaller in the city with all its conveniences. 
It's something we did a couple of years ago and it's been the best thing we could have done. Not only is everything on our doorstep, restaurants, bars, shops, supermarkets even, but we've actually managed to downsize to only one car. And back at the country house, we had three. One for me, one for my wife, and one for my son. Now it's just one, a modest EV. So consider downsizing to save on costs and reduce the time you spend on maintenance. Only buy what truly adds value to your life. Think of the money and time you could put to better use. My fifth thing is to stop worrying. Worrying doesn't change the future and worrying can't reset the past. It only steals your joy in the present. Focus on what you can control and let go of the rest. It's easy to worry about things that haven't yet come to pass. To stop yourself, take a deep breath, stay in the moment. The past is gone and the future isn't guaranteed. Embrace the present and make the most of every moment. That's why you'll hear my motto at the end of every video, make every second count. Time is too precious to spend worrying about the past and the future. Not just that, worrying brings on stress and that can lead to ill health. My sixth thing might be a bit controversial. Stop supporting adult children. I believe there comes a time when as a parent, you have to let your kids go. You have to cut them free and let them be independent adults. I know as a parent, it can be hard to stop supporting your children, but retirement is the time to prioritize you. It's your time, not theirs. You must set healthy boundaries and support them in ways that don't compromise your financial well-being or your mental health by worrying about them. Of course, you've got to offer guidance and emotional support, but encourage your kids to stand on their own two feet. It's a tough love that will benefit both you and them. Lastly, my seventh thing is stop self-criticism. There is nothing to be gained from beating yourself up. Be kind to yourself and recognize your strengths. Don't focus on your weaknesses. I know we all have weaknesses, but don't let them overshadow your strengths. Practice positive affirmations. That's what I do. Focus on your positive attributes. I find that writing them down helps. Take out a notebook or create a note on an iPad and write at the top, I am. Then list all the powerful things about yourself. Read that list every morning on waking and every night before bed. That way it will sink into your subconscious mind and permanently change how you think about yourself. It's also important to surround yourself with the right people. You want people that uplift you and let go of relationships that drag you down. Embrace who you are and celebrate what makes you special. Believe in yourself and ditch anyone who doesn't support that. So those are the seven things you should stop doing if you don't want to screw up your retirement. Which one resonates with you? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips on how to live your best retirement life. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't forget to make every second count.